Hello students, in this lesson you are going to learn about biotechnology principles and processes and in this section you will learn about process of recombinant DNA technology. So let's begin here. The process of recombinant DNA technology completes in 5 steps and the steps are given here. The first step is isolation of genetic material that is DNA. In this step, release the DNA by treating cells with enzymes such as lysozyme. RNA can be removed here by treatment with ribonuclease enzyme, whereas protein can be removed here by protease enzyme. And so that the purified DNA will finally precipitate out and can be seen as a thread in the suspension. Now come to the second step that is cutting of DNA at specific locations. In this step, cut the vector and source DNA with specific restriction enzyme. Now, come at the third step that is amplification of desired DNA segment by polymerase chain reaction or you can say it as PCR. This step is to make several copies of any gene. In this method, desired DNA mixture triphosphates of all four deoxyribonucleotides and one heat stable DNA polymerase enzyme is also used. This whole process completes with the help of an instrument called thermocycler. Here is the detail of amplification of DNA. The process of amplification of DNA completes in three steps. The steps are given here. The first step is denaturation. It occurs at 94 degrees centigrade temperature you can see here in this diagram that at denaturation step heat is required that means it occurs at the highest temperature 94 degrees centigrade and here the double stranded DNA melts and opens into two single stranded DNA molecule. These are the two single stranded DNA. Now come to the second step of amplification that is annealing. It occurs at 54 degree centigrade temperature and you can see here in this diagram that in annealing step the primers pairs up or anneal with the single stranded DNA template and the polymerase also attaches here for extension. Now come to the third step that is extension. It occurs at 72 degree centigrade temperature. Here the DNA building blocks that means deoxyribonucleotides coupled to the primer. You can see here in this diagram that the DNA building blocks will couple to the primer and making it as double stranded DNA molecule. So after ex extension you will see that you will get one more copy of double stranded DNA molecule. After first cycle of PCR the number of DNA becomes double. And thus after n cycles the number of copies will be 2n. So you can do PCR up to 30 cycles. Now come to the fourth step of process of recombinant DNA technology that is insertion of recombinant DNA into host cell. Recombinant DNA is transferred to host cell like bacteria, yeast, plant etc. You can see in this diagram that this is the chromosomal DNA fragment which has to be cloned. That means it is the desired DNA and this is the vector DNA. Vector is always a carrier molecule for the desired DNA. So after joining vector DNA and desired DNA with the help of an enzyme called DNA ligase, you will get a recombinant DNA molecule or you can say it as chimeric DNA. And this chimeric DNA will get inserted into a bacterial host cell and after this you can see that the recombinant DNA will also replicate with the bacterial DNA. The host cells containing the chimeric DNA are selected after screening and from there the gene product can be isolated and used for commercial purposes. For example, humulin. Humulin is the insulin produced by man with the help of the recombinant DNA technology. Now come to the fifth step of process of recombinant DNA technology that is obtaining the foreign gene product. For this, large volumes for example 100 to 1000 liters of cultures were required for which bioreactors were developed. So, a stirred tank bioreactor is usually cylindrical and with a curved base. 
it has a stirrer facilitating even mixing and oxygen availability it has an agitator system a foam controlling system a temperature and ph control system it also has sampling ports a port for steam for sterilization and also an inlet port at the base for the sterile air so students this was the process of recombinant dna technology